Alright guys, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're back here on the Normandy, and as you may have noticed, look, I've changed Shepard's outfit. Doesn't he look ever so smart? I've also changed the, the combat armor that I'm wearing. I look like Iron Man now, and I can't wait to show you. Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard so and Lawson I thought I would just take a little we'll moment to go around sure and check on the crew. See how everybody's doing. Hey, Commander. It's, uh... Pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Okay, we're still friends, barely, but it didn't go well, that's true. He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? <laughs> You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks, I'll give you that. So how are things in your cockpit? I mean, in the cockpit. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> Cerberus disagrees or he's got to mute, use it, or adapt. Uh, it's got to mute. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. <laughs> okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, the good old days. Let's talk about them. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Sunshine and bunnies. All right, what about the old crew, our old mates? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I suppose sometimes it takes an absolute magnetic personality to keep things stuck together. Uh, right. What about this mission? So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Yeah, like Kelly. She's our local people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Interesting how he's got uh, an opinion on the two members of my last crew. I wonder what he'd have said if I'd picked other people. That's pretty That's cool. it for now. See you, Commander. All right, thanks a lot, Joker. Nice talking to you. So the reason I'm doing this, uh, and I respect my character as well, um, there's a... In Morden's lab, as it were, there's a uh, there's a way to respect your character. I want to get as many Paragon points as I possibly can. But there is something Jacob else. Jacob wants to speak with you, Commander. Jacob wants to speak with me. Okay, well, as, as I said, I'm going to spend some time talking to the crew. But there is something here. Dr. O'Kir, do you remember? O'Kir is dead, but his genetically engineered Krogan soldier remains preserved in his grow tank. So we've got to finish that mission. Which means we've got to go and visit the Krogan. Let's see where he is. He must be somewhere on the ship. Ah, oh, the Krogan pod. Right, it's down there in engineering. I want to head down there first. We'll talk to all the rest of the crew. I hope you don't mind this episode being a little bit of a... Well, an explore. Explore of my, my crew's feelings. Um, but I, I feel like it's important. Alright, Zaid. Actually, we do need to talk, Zaid. I haven't actually spoken to you. At all. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I'm I'm tough fight on horizon. Oh. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on horizon. I mean, is this... I thought we were going to enter a conversation. What is this blood pack helmet? Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. 
Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. So, Zaid's conversation I thought would be a little bit more two-way, but that's all we're getting. Soon, my friend, because his loyalty mission is actually revealed to me, so I'm, I'm hoping we get a chance to sort that out. However, there are people I need to discourse with. These guys. I just heard the collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. What can we do for you, Commander? Well, <clears throat> we haven't really talked much, so... Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couplings we mentioned, we're doing fine. I bet you could find them in the Omega markets if you wanted to help us out. Anything else? Ah, that's where I go to get it. So they gave me this little side mission some time ago, or an assignment, I suppose. Yet to be discovered, so the Omega markets are where we need to go. Fine. Uh, do I need to talk to them about anything else? Let me just Where get through the conversation. Train? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Wow. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Now that's interesting. This is why some people have joined Cerberus. is because of the really, really poor people management skills of the Council themselves. What a shame. Uh, okay, what about your feelings about Cerberus? What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Okay, what about you, Gabby? How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Well, I guess Area. we're done here. Well do, Commander. So where is my Krogan Warlord? Is he even here? Oh, hold up, we can go downstairs. Let's see what's down here. Ah, Jack. Jackety Jack Jack, how are you doing? Hey. All right, let's see what conversation we can strike up with this beautiful girl. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Oh yeah, of course, we let her look at the files. Well, we're glad they're helping. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm going to find something I can use. I just know it. Okay. Uh, what if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I can't let you do that. Uh... Just tell me about Cerberus. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. Well, you sound excited. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. 
Okay, how? You'd be my first mate. Shepard, I'd lead the boarding afloat? party and handle the executions. Uh, you enjoy killing or goodbye? Let's, let's explore this a little more. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. <laughs> Simple. Well, the maths speak for themselves and the I logic. I should go. Yep. Oh, wow, I got oh, I got four Paragon, but also plus two, plus, plus two, sorry, Renegade, which was slightly disappointing, but at least we got the Paragon points. That was one of the things I wanted to do while I'm wandering around the ship today. So, interesting to hear a little bit of her story as well. And this is the wrong way. <clears throat> I think we've explored everything with these guys, but where is, ah, the cargo. This must be where our friend the Krogan is. This is it, the breeding pod itself. I get to activate it. Is there anything else to do before I do that? Do I need protection? The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Okay, is he aware? Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. And is he... Oh, is he dangerous? I mean, we want him because he's dangerous, but... Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. Hmm. Anything strange you notice? What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Oh, hang on a minute. So he's got the genetic markers of the genophage as well. So he's... I thought he would have been bred to be completely immune to it. Interesting. Right, get this tank open. Stand by. I'm going to open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. Okay, well he's too valuable to leave. I think we need to do it. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences All right, are Edie. yours. No one asked your opinion. Here we go. Human. Male. Before you die, I need a name. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, you'll get more than that, he says. Well, of course you can have my name, sir. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. <laughs> I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Oh, look at that. I am Grunt. I mean, come on. Now we know. Now we know I am Groot was entirely inspired by this story. Or the other way around. So why Grunt or do you want to die? Why, why Grunt? You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Oh, wow. Okay, join my crew and we're gonna find it for you, my friend. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. 
You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? <laughs> if I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Well, I like Grut 7 Paragon for that. Wow, that was a great set of options there. Obviously, I picked the right thing. Grunt so Shepherd. tell me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. <laughs> um, all right, all right. Oh, upgrades. What is this? Anything in your tank inference that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Oh, look at this. We've got upgrades from Grunt. What's going on? We've got extra weapon upgrades. Any armor? No. Ship? No. Prototypes. Well, this was the option I took earlier. Retrain my powers. So I can come down here to get upgrades as well. Ooh. Ooh, that is brand new. Grunt, Grunt gets a Claymore heavy shotgun. So it's not for me, it's for him. Damn it. Oh, well, he deserves it. Armory scientists produced a single prototype for Grunt in violation of Council Space's weapon safety standards. The recoil on the Claymore is enough to break a human's arm. Fortunately, Grunt isn't human. Right, well, he can have that. I don't mind spending some of my hard-found resources on you, my friend. Thank you very much, Grunt. Good luck. I'm off to speak to somebody else. Oh, there we go. There's Kasumi. Let's have a look at the this these pieces of... Ah, a rose painting these books and Kasumi herself but we've also got the shutter control oh let's turn the lights down low Kasumi <laughs> no no I prefer the windows open liquor and why is that oh it's just two different types do you want the blue pill or the red pill gonna drink it let's drink it Shepard's gonna get a bit woo-woo there's an amazing array of dildos on the shelves at the back there so Kasumi what are you doing people are talking out there and I hear it all oh I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays it's nice to be able to look out a window for a change well then I'm glad I left it open for you can see I thought we'd have a bit bit of a better conversation than that but don't laugh I like those books romance novels crime novels the classics there's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands their musty smell it's relaxing KG used to find books for me while on the job some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal so that was her former partner, KG. Right, what about this rose? The red rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. Well, now, I'm suspicious. What is it you stole and left a red rose here? <laughs> uh, the statue, I though. stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. So this master thief is a master uh, of stories. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. So what does this picture mean to you? What are you getting? What are you getting? I mean, you could say it looks a little bit like the Citadel. Two Citadels, maybe a couple of Whirlpool galaxies, but in all honesty, and I don't know if this is going to have any psychological uh, connotations here, but all I see are two nipples. 
Anyway. Thanks, Kasumi. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. Okay, well, that was a nice chat. I think we're done. Oh, there's another painting. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. Shepard looks I got a little there, bored here. The painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. Yeah. Shepard really has had enough of this, and so have I. Right, who else is left? There won't be anybody in there, I don't think. So, we need to speak to Miranda and somebody. Oh, Miranda's on this floor. Oh, maybe Jacob. Jacob did, did want to have a word. Another oh, no, colony the... went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. See, more and more colonists hard. are in trouble. Okay, Miranda. How are you feeling? Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters. But this is important. Aha, uh -huh. I think she's about to reveal her loyalty mission to me. What do I have to do, Miranda? Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. Okay, and, and, and how did that go? How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Oh, wow, you have a twin sister. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! Right, um, <laughs> yeah, insert your own thoughts there. Only not anymore. Right, safe and hidden from my father, only not anymore. Uh, I guess that's why you're So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Okay, I will definitely help, but let's find out a little more about your sister. <laughs> what do you know about your sister? What do she's I know about She's my genetic her? twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Okay. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Okay, I think we can do this. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Right, there we go. We've got another side quest mission type thing. Two Paragon points for that as well, just for claiming the loyalty mission, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, let me go find somebody else I can speak to. I think we're going to have someone up here. I know there's the, uh, the the local chef, but here is Garrus. We haven't yet had a chat. What about this monitoring station? Uh, oh, we've got a codex. Disruptor torpedoes, apparent projectiles of war. Okay, it's just a codex. Oh, and this. What's this area of the ship? The gunnery control oh, no, station. Fine. The ship's oh, no. batteries are controlled from skip here. Skip it, skip it. The combat information center... Okay, Garris, you talk. Take over. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Uh, well, we're not really with them, but... We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Whoa, really? What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. 
You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. So, what, you were a thug, or gangs must have hated you? Let's go with that first. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Okay. Um, who was in your squad? Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. Well, I think I could do the same. Have you seen my pattern matching skills? How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Oh, come on, Garrus. Don't beat yourself up about it. Let me do that for you. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Okay. Um, well... What happened? I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedona's is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedona's. One day I'll find him and correct that. Hey, well, maybe we can find him together, Thanks dude. for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Well, there we go. A couple more Paragon points for me. That's that's what it was all about. But also because I genuinely want to help these people. <laughs> honest. Honest, I do, I do. So, we've got two and a little bit bars of Paragon. I would have hoped for more by now. But anyway, it's going well. Okay, who else is on this floor? I don't think there's anyone else here. Let's keep going. I've already done all my chit-chat with the doctor, although is there another room at the back? Oh, idea there is. That was Liara's old office, but sadly she's no longer with the, the crew. Maybe we'll find her soon, I hope. Right, let's get back up here. Jacob wanted to talk to me, as um, Kelly told me. So let's go speak to him. Um, I think we've already spoken to the doctor, but I will, I will give him another shot. Because I, one, love the character. I two, want to see if he's discovered anything else that can help us. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier, time with special tasks group, studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other mm -hmm. kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. More than just study? What do you mean? What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Well, that's exactly what we wanted to, to do. That's good news. Um, 
Perhaps they weren't. Perhaps they weren't adapted. What do you mean? They just said they were. That's good news, isn't it? The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow <laughs> unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Oh, okay, so he <laughs> they were actually adapting to it. He still believes the Krogan are just dangerous and need some kind of control. So he created a better genophage. What an absolute genius. A bastard genius. <laughs> Was that the best choice? Are you serious? How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. Okay. When what happened when you modified it? What was the extra effects? How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Okay. Tell him, should I tell him what he did was wrong? You did the right thing? Thanks for telling me? Was this the... Uh, question him? I mean, I don't know. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population. Avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger. Averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. I don't know about this. I'm going to have to tell him he's wrong, even though I love Morden. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Well, even though I told him off, I still got six Paragon points, so perhaps I said the right thing. Perhaps. Maybe I could have got a squeezed a few more points out of him. But, you know, I'm kind of hoping that those Paragon points will just go up a little faster. They're just... Oh, oh and I've also upgraded this, look. See, I've gone I've gone to champion level. And apparently that increases my Paragon by 100% when I find certain things. Now, where was, where was Jacob? Let's go this way. So, yeah, I think telling him off was good certainly seemed to be the right idea right Jacob you wanted to talk let's talk commander sorry I'm a little unfocused personal matter it won't affect my duties your duties okay so you left a note with chambers what do you want the yeoman said you wanted to see me what's this about Jacob as I said it's a personal matter I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase but well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. I like family. That. Oh, family. I like the way he said, I don't want it to be a goose chase. Now, I've heard of a wild goose chase. So is a goose chase slightly better than a wild goose chase? Okay, what's up? I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. Okay, so you, you, you would want to find him or you want to check it out? I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Hmm. Okay. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. 
Okay, and how do you get on with your old pa? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Hmm. Well, I think we should go take 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 a look at this again. I keep keep getting amazed by the the the, the vocal acting in the game through and through. There's not a weak performance in it. It's so good. It really, really is brilliant. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. You know, I mean, I play a lot of games, and I've heard a lot of vocal acting, voice acting in these types of scenarios, and it's, it is it is it is difficult to get it right and spot on every time because, you know, they've. I don't know, it depends which way round it's done. Most of the time they record the voice, they fit the animation to the voice, and and obviously that makes a lot of sense. But when the when the actor's actually performing his lines, you really know he's not immersed in the actual situation. He's not inside a Normandy ship. It must Commander, be incredibly you've received hard a new message at your private terminal. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Um, it must be hard for them to sort of get into character and actually feel it, but I suppose well, that's what actors do, but the point is these are all good, powerful actors, which is why I really, really do appreciate it. Now, have I spoken to everybody on my team? I think I have. So, I have a new message. Let's open it up. An encrypted transmission. Shepard, I see you awakened Okir's Krogan, a dangerous decision. But you've got free reign on this operation. You're a cert uh, if you're certain he'll be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. That's from the elusive man, that loser. I don't like him, you know. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at least partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data, but again, you're in charge. Yes, I am in charge, loser. Well, that's everything, I think. Our team is assembled. We've spoken to absolutely everybody we can today, and I think I will leave it there. There are three open dossiers, three more people to go and visit, um, but also, Quite importantly, we've got a few assignments to get through. So I might go and do some of these. I don't know. What do you think? Should I record them? Do you want to see them? There are a lot of missions. These are all the missions we've unlocked. And there will be a video for each and every damn one of them. And I can't wait. I got a message on my private terminal. I wasn't recording at the time. It just said, Cerberus has delivered information on purchases the Shadow Broker has made recently. They may provide information. Guess who? Liara needs to track down the Shadow Broker's location. So maybe the next episode, we'll go check out how Liara is doing. She's my bird. She's my blue bird. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Obviously, this was just a mission where we're going around, checking on the crew, getting a bit of a feel, immersing in the story and the lore and all of their fantastic characters. So thanks for watching. I suppose we should leave the final word to Kelly. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> Always nice to chat with you, Kelly. Well, we're going to open ourselves up to the galaxy in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Again, it was just a bit of a one of those optionals, I suppose, as I said before. But for those of you that don't have the game, never played it, I think I think these conversations are fascinating. They really do add to the depth of the story. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. All the best, guys. Thanks for watching once again, and good night.